Is the deficit a problem for the United States? If so, how would you fix it? If not, why not? Uh, I think the deficit, you know, we're bankrupt. The, the banker just has not called the note yet. It, is it a problem? Yes, it's a problem. It's one that we have to make sure, and that's why I stand for a balanced budget amendment. We need to make sure that we have to come back on that and, and make sure that as we, we look at the deficit that we rein in spending. Part of that is entitlements. A big chunk of it is entitlements. Part of it is excess spending that we have to have to look at. But in doing that, what we've, we've got to make sure of is, is that we don't spend more than we take in. We, Ronald Reagan said this in, in the early 80s. He says when the debt was at $1 trillion, you know, we're 15, 15 times more than that now. And as we look at that, when the debt was at $1 trillion, he said, we don't have a taxing problem, we have a spending problem. And indeed, we have a spending problem, and what we need to do is make sure that Congress uh, cuts back, tightens the belt, and make sure that we uh, reduce our deficit. Will that be enough to do that, or will that just cut the rate of growth? Will, will cutting spending be enough to do it? Yeah, if you say your solution, you know, you say the deficit is a problem, and... Um, your solution is for Congress to tighten its belt. Okay. If, if your question is, is should we we cut spending and raise taxes? The answer to that is no. If if what we're saying is, is do we cut tax? Uh, do we just cut spending? Is that enough? It's going to also require you know Medicare Medicaid reform as we look at it. You know, part of what we've done is is we've we've ended up uh, being a society that once we get hooked on something, we love to keep it. You know, and it's going to be painful as, as American citizens, what we're going to, it's going to cost us something as we have to do that. So we're all going to have to sacrifice and try to make real, real cuts uh, in, in the entitlement programs as well. Okay. Um, how would you fix America's immigration situation? Well, first we have to, I, I believe I've got fence it, protect it. Uh, verify them and deport them. I, I'm not for amnesty. I believe that what we've got to do is we've got to make sure that we protect our borders. When, when in, in, in modern history would you ever have thought that traveling through parts of Texas and Arizona that were off limits to American citizens? It's just wrong and we've got to do something. If we can find Osama bin Laden in the middle of the Middle East, certainly we can protect our borders. And so we have got to make sure that we protect our borders, uh, close off the infiltration, then make sure that we, we verify who they are and, and work on it. I, I talked to one of the sheriffs in, in our 17 counties, and I said, you know, tell me about it. You know, you, you get these guys and you send them back, and what happens? He says, I've got one guy that I've caught 42 times. 42 times. And so as you look at that, it shows that we've got a porous border and we've got to make sure that it's not porous and that we, uh, we do that. You know, everybody says, well, put, put the problem on, on the industry. You know, if there wasn't jobs here, then, then they wouldn't be coming here. You know, the fact is we live in the greatest land in the world. And so no matter if there's, you know, we, we see it as awful times. They see it as great times. So compared to where they are, they're going to always come unless we protect the border. So that's what I think we need to do. Um, and perhaps the most controversial part of what you're saying, at least among some people I uh, chat with, would be the um, deport them. Can you describe how that process would work? How deporting them? Yeah. They, uh -huh. Well, we send them back to Mexico. Uh -huh. or we well, send I, them. I, I, I understand that, but uh, I mean, uh, I, you know, I mean that would be quite a process to. Uh, can you describe it? I mean, well, you know, yeah. if they figured out how to get here, uh -huh. I think the most powerful country in the world can figure out how to get them back. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I, I I don't mean to be trite with sure. this, but you know, in in doing this, are we saying, well, do we have friends that might be Hispanic that have been working alongside us? Surely, you know, can can we look at some some of those jobs, perhaps uh, change the H two A visa? Uh, program where those that are wanting to look at, at, at uh, temporary employment, uh, that we make that easier. The federal government has even messed that up because what we've done is regulated it to such a point where I, if I get a, a hole the size of the end of my little pinky in the screen and I'm providing housing for someone that's here on an H-2A uh, visa, 
they can find me and do find those people that have them here. And so we've regulated that to the point where most of the options for those that hire uh, illegal immigrants come in because it's easier for them to do it illegally than it is to abide with our regulations. So simplify the regulation if you want to cut down on that. But I think we do have to, to make sure that, that they go back. Okay. Thank you. That uh, ends our questions there. All right. Thank you. Thank you.